Hello, it's Adair Palmer here. Now I'm falling using the fallback plan, which is plan B, which is doing the pre-recorded version of the today's live <laughs> Facebook streaming uh, into my Facebook page and a gazillion other places on Facebook. What happened was I was having some real fun with the internet as I've been having all week. And it, I ended up, I tried to do the streaming on desktop by open book, OBS, o, OBS, open broadcasting software, uh, the studio. And that sort of crashed and burned because I didn't have enough download speed to be able, or upload speed or whatever you call it, to be able to do that. So I ended up getting my trusty old phone and doing a live feed on the phone and again the internet just kept cutting in and out and I was pixelating and uh, an added thing for that was because I was actually I was holding up the phone like this and then I thought if I'm doing a, um, a health checklist which is what I'm doing today then I'm not going to be able to type so anyway it's been fun and I'm still smiling because that's what I do. Um, okay, so what I thought was here's plan B, like I said, it's a dare Palmer, and I'm going to do a health checklist, not a live one, but a health checklist on a business page for cel the celebration for today, which is Friday. It is the 23rd of uh, September, 2016. And we're celebrating the 1,000 members in the group for my group, Social Media for Small Business Owners or Small Biz Owners. So if you're looking at this, if you're watching this and you're curious about what that is, hop over to the group. I'll show you that later when, when we share the screens. I'll show you the name and you can join. Um, well, actually, I'll, I'll show you a couple of ways in. Uh, and if you're already in the group, uh, just remember to get your copy of the health uh, checklist. Uh, I'm updating that uh, in probably about a week. It's going to be updated, but it's perfectly usable exactly as it is. If you get your copy and you and you use it and you find it really useful, which as you will, because uh, I actually haven't heard of anyone who's used it and said, "No, this is crap." Everybody loves it because it is such a valuable tool to help measure what you're doing really, really well on your business page and what you can improve on because it is a process of constant improvement. What I'm doing today is a bit scary for me. In fact, it's a lot scary. I tweak my page. I've got two pages that I'll work. I've got three pages. I show got four pages. One's Beloved Son, which is dedicated to my son from probably about the last five years. So if you want to laugh, get over and check him out, Beloved Son. It's just Beloved Son. And uh, I just put the stuff, the funny stuff, and he does come up with a fair bit of funny stuff, the uh, things that he, uh, his quips and tricks and stuff that he does and things that he's engaged with. So it's almost like an open book that you like little things that he does people can get engaged in his uh, humor and as he grows up sort of get to know who he is and we've I've been running that page for for five or six years and then I've got another one with young with a dare palmer which isn't that active at the moment but the two that I really are working on and and um, use to tweak my tips and tricks and tools that I bring to you are the Hypnotherapy with a Dare and the Social Media for Small Biz Owners page. The Hypnotherapy with a Dare came first. I have had that page for active for about 18 months. Actually, probably, yeah, about 18 months, just maybe a bit over. And um, what? Uh, no, it actually wouldn't even be that. It would have been since June. Oh, I might just put this on silent. Sorry. Um, Okay, should have done that first. Um, I've had that page active for around, I started it, I reckon, in March last year. So, yeah, about 18 months. Okay. So, that page I used and 
as a business owner to get hypnotherapy clients because those of you who haven't heard my story, it's a really quite, um, well, I think it's pretty awesome and I also think it's, um, it's, it's just exciting for anyone who wants to do small business or who has a small business and wants to expand into Facebook because if uh, it, it's just, here's someone who knows, he's done it. So I started doing hypnotherapy uh, last year, early last year, and I was getting all clients, most of my clients, in fact, all of my clients at first came from my Facebook page. Now I get some from my Facebook page and also some from other places. Like um, I put just um, cards up on community notice boards and that type of thing. So there's a little bit of offline stuff happening, but mostly it happens on Facebook. So I was getting the clients from Facebook and using my page and I had a fellow hypnotherapist say to me, how are you getting your clients? Hi, Peter, and thank you for starting me on this path. So I said, oh, I just use my Facebook page. And he said, wow, would you like to show me how you do it? And I said, I'd love to. And he was working a nine-day fortnight at that, at that time. And it was about this time last year where he would come over once a fortnight and would sit at my dining room table and I would show him what I did to get clients on Facebook. Now, I figured, and he was happy to pay me for it, which was wonderful, and I figured, well, if I can teach one, I can teach two, and then I thought, well, if I've got four or five people sitting around my dining room table, it's and each of them are paying a little bit, well, then that's maximising my time and knowledge. And it just, I started telling a few people and advertising and it just took off from there. I ended up with a partner in the South, um, hi to Matthew, who's now, I think you're still uh, doing your pilgrimage in Spain or somewhere. Anyway, he's just taken off in a different direction and life's taken off for him as well, which is magnificent. Um, but with the hypnotherapy page, I continue to get clients and, um, and, and build the page in such a way that it, it is my business and that's what I do. And the social media has, but just by purely sharing what I do and helping other small business owners get, uh, get clients or Get, get their presence on Facebook to a point where they're not just putting a, a post on a page and it goes off to wherever and you just can hear crickets because that's that's not effective. It's not effective at all. It's just like you're saying, you know, well, I've got a website. I'll put it out there and nobody's contacted me. You actually have to work it. And that's why I, uh, I get so much pleasure out of this because I get so much, I have so much success in my own business with it. I've just gone global with my hypnotherapy page and I've had clients from, um, uh, from right across Australia and inquiries at this stage from right across the globe. And I am in the process of working out, negotiating a uh, convenient time at the moment with my first client from the US. So if anything is possible here, absolutely anything, but you have to be prepared to work it. So that's my lecture for today. I want to show you the Facebook, um, my Facebook page, uh, Hypnotherapy with Adair. And it's a bit like showing the undies because while I tweak the pages, I don't necessarily do like I haven't done a health check on my page, so I've I've developed the health check tool with um, using other people's pages, and I look and I go, mm, I can, and and then I tweak and I use my own pages to try out the things that I suggest, but I actually haven't applied the tool to my own page. So this is a bit, it's going to be interesting. So I'm I'm going to take you through it as I would, hopefully objectively, as I would someone else's business page. Um, and it is a bit, like I said, a bit scary and a bit 
I feel a little bit vulnerable, so I do understand how you would feel if I was doing a health check on your page. But I'm going to look at it as a process of continuous improvement and um, and because I want to uh, have that process and I want to continuously improve it. And I thought, well, if I'm using my own as a, as a, a testing ground, then it's probably just the the you know, the, uh, the next natural normal thing is to use it as a demonstration. Um, if there are, if you want me to do a health check on your page, you you can actually if you want to let me know, just PM me and just say you watched this video and ask for your own health check. If you download the template, I'd be more than happy to give you, do a free a business page health checklist on your page. So uh, just download the health, the template and then let me know and I will do a, a health checklist on your page too. Here we go. Okay, now first I'm going to show you where to download your template from. Okay, so now you're looking at my uh, social media for small biz owners business page. This is where you download the health check from. So you go into the, the page, social media for small biz owners, then you go into in the tab section, free biz, Health page health checklist. So once you've downloaded that, you are more than welcome to PM me and let me know that you've done that and I will give you a free um, health check on your own business page. And then what you can do is you can actually use the tool that you uh, download to measure your progress. So you'll, you'll have my comments in. I'll show you exactly how that works in a minute. And here's the tool itself. It's being updated, but it doesn't matter because it's it's perfectly usable as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, uh, I'll put my name in here. So when I'm doing your page, I will do, if my computer will catch up, Andrea Palmer. And the review date is 23rd, uh, 9, 2016. And my business is Hypnotherapy. And my business page, just bear with me. I've got that on the other screen because I've got a dual screen happening here. And I will... And what I've done is I, and it's not you're not supposed to do this, but I have set up a um, an account in another name, Adair Summers, which is my previous name. And I, so now what I can do through, through this account is I can look at my business page, my hypnotherapy page as I would look at your page. So otherwise I'd just see the back of the shop and the insights and all that sort of stuff. But I want to, if I'm looking at it as I would your page, then this is this is what you'll see. Now what I need to do is just unshare this screen and then I will stop the share there and I'll just share the other screen. Okay. Okay, so now I'm sharing desktop two, and you'll be able to see that there is um, that there is a, uh, a photo of me. And what I do in my um, health checklist, I go, okay, I look at the cover and profile pictures first, and I look at this and I go, okay, there's a picture of me. What I would actually say to me is put. Social media, that's probably totally appropriate. But for hypnotherapy, um, I would suggest to me that I actually have a profile picture that is a close-up of my face 
that shows my eyes more that because that's what's going to engage you you come to me for a service that is personal that is sometimes it's driven by pain so you don't go have hypnotherapy if life's going great for you you have hypnotherapy if you have uh, any sort of like smoking weight self-confidence relationships to help you get into a better frame of mind to be able to deal with whatever's happening in your life so i would say to me and this actually hurts but i didn't actually even think about it until i started looking at it like this so this is really showing you undies i actually would get a better profile picture um it looks good for the other stuff but for this it's probably not appropriate so i would say the cover picture uh, the, the cover picture um, profile picture is probably yes it's me but it's not really relevant to the business that i'm in so just consider that i've actually seen profile pictures with people um holding their their, their puppies and um and that's appropriate for uh, maybe volunteers who or people who are um uh dog breeders or kennel um uh what do they call them kennel borders and things like that um but for someone who's not uh and this particular person was a, a volunteer with guide dogs and used to have guide dog pups which is a great thing to do when you're volunteering but when you're as, as doing it as a business which has got nothing to do with what your volunteering role is it probably would be a good idea a better idea to have a profile picture which shows you uh, as a person so that's um that's one thing that's the first thing i would say if this was my client's page um, and then i would have a look at the cover picture now is this the best use of real estate so what i do is i go what problem are you solving what's the call to action here does one glance tell you tell your potential client customer what you're all about and I go hmm okay live young mm -hmm. get results from your mind and body I have this as an emblem because my daughter designed a tattoo for me and I actually have it on the back of my shoulder and it's sort of something that's really meaningful to me um, if it was someone else I'd probably say well it doesn't mean anything so uh, but it's the logo that I've chosen for this particular business. Now, living young, getting results for mind and body, um, that sort of, I guess that to me says that yes, there's something there that's actually around, um, around something that's going to help me if I'm looking for something for my mind or my body. Uh, things like the, the mindset for weight loss and stop smoking, that type of thing. So that's the sort of tagline that I've chosen to get, to, to put there. And I've also chosen to include here the mind, a beautiful servant, a dangerous master. So when someone comes to this page, they'll look at it immediately and they'll go, let's just get rid of that. They'll look at it immediately and they'll go, okay so i'm going to get results if i if i engage with this person i'm going to get results for my mind and my body now it must be about the mind because this person is telling me that the mind is a beautiful servant and a dangerous master so uh, i would say i'm actually taking my own advice on that one the other thing that uh, um, i would suggest is I used to say, um, if I just click on the, the picture here, I used to say, uh, if it's got a description under your cover picture, that's actually another opportunity for you to tell people what it is that's bothering, uh, that, you know, to, to reach out and, and tell, show people how you can help them with things that are bothering them. And you can see here, I've got a description. Do you feel stuck in life and you're not getting the results you're looking for? So I'm talking to their pain points. I'm talking to things that are going to send them looking for a hypnotherapist, okay? So you, um, this sort of thing is, uh, and I'll talk about this a little bit more when I get to uh, a different section in the health checklist, 
But when I talk to people about this, what I actually mean is when before they have the new format, and I, I don't know if you remember, it's like a whole month or six weeks ago that you used to have your cover, your profile picture here, and then you would have your call to action buttons across the bottom of your profile, uh, sorry, your cover picture. Now what's happened, what used to happen was when you hover your mouse over the picture, you used to get a little drop down um, little box, or like a light box that would just, just appear and whatever was written here would just magically appear. So uh, that was a really important part of your health, uh, of your business page. So now it doesn't do that. So that's one of the features that's disappeared since they've got changed to the new format. Okay. So uh, it's not that important. It's still useful, but I doubt whether if people aren't, if people don't know to go there, they're not likely to. So I wouldn't spend a lot of time on that now. So I would actually scale that back in the level of importance to what I used to. Now I'll just share screen, stop share, and I'll reshare on my other page to show you, because I can't show you straight all at once. Now we're looking at managing your tabs and your call to action buttons. So what this, I'll take you back to the page once you've had a look at this, but are your tabs optimised? What's on your cover picture is your call to action, uh, which is no longer on the cover picture, but it is under the cover picture. Does your messenger have an instant message? Now, and these are the tabs that you have on the left-hand side, and these are the button options for your call to action. So when I update this, I'll be changing these, but just so you know, when I'm talking about it, this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the managing tabs down the left-hand side and this I'm looking at the option under your cover picture and it's on the right-hand side. Stop share and reshare on my desktop too. Okay, so looking at these. Now I am going, I'll just pull this down a little bit. Um, when I, do, I look at this and I go, are my tabs optimised? Now, what I do find is most people have a um, message here and send message here. Now, in terms of what my suggestion would be there is that you are telling people to do the same thing twice even if you tell people to call now. That in itself is something that is your, because more and more, and I have to say with my, um, with my, this page, most people contact me via Messenger. So they will send me a message and they will uh, contact me by Messenger. Very, very few people will phone me. Even though my phone number is available, very few people will phone me. So even they'll phone me on Messenger. So they will call me through Messenger rather than call me on my landline. Um, and with Going Global, they will, most people uh, now will contact me through Messenger and then I will set up a Skype or a Zoom session so I can talk face to face with them. So phone numbers, that's our absolutely going to be, I believe it's going to be obsolete in maybe five years if, if it, like even if that. So I suggest that you have used this to the best of your, like to your advantage. Don't have call now, don't have send email, don't have, what else have we got? Don't have contact us unless, um, unless you wanted to send it to a website, but even then your con if your contact form on your website is going to be a, um, a phone number or an email, 
I just said that would just annoy people because it's going to send them off of the platform and you want to be able to keep them here. The minute they leave, you've lost them. So keep them here as much as you can, okay? So if you, if on here, if you've got um, contact us, if you've got send message, if you've got send email, I would suggest you're wasting your real estate on the top bit. So suggest to you for your business page that you have things like book now, watch video, sign up, um, shop now, and you can have shops that go straight, stay in, you can have apps that keep the shopping straight in, in, in Facebook and they can shop and pay in Facebook so there's no need to the, send them to a website. That's another webinar. Um, or um, you can have learn more, but again, that sends them to a website. Uh, generally, so I'd be reluctant to do that because once I leave your page, then you've 99 times out of 100, I think you've lost them. And it's going to become more and more that they will want to do everything on one page. And I know um, it's like even like when you Google stuff, tell me how many people go to page two on Google or page three, very, very few. You just go, and I know I don't, I just go look at the top ones and that's it. So if you need to go somewhere else, people just don't do it. So just take that in uh, under consideration. So I would click the watch video if I'm reviewing someone's page. And this video is okay. Hello, it's, it's me. me. If I'm reviewing a page, what I would generally do is just watch the video that goes for 14 minutes and I know exactly what it says because I said it. So I won't do that, but I'll go, yep, yeah, there's a video there and uh, it, actually I'll just go back because I think there should be a description of the video somewhere. Uh, it should be here, so I'm not quite sure. I've had 33, hang on, shush, okay. There we go. So there's the description. Uh, have a look at the description of the video. And I, I actually had this pin, as a pinned post until this morning. So when people first come to my page, it's a featured video as well. Uh, and I would suggest that knowing the background, if you had a featured video, don't make it the same as your pinned post because you're just duplicating. And I actually didn't realise that until this morning. So I learned something new every day. So here I've got a, um, a description that goes with my video. If people just wanted to read it and if they didn't have the time to listen to my video, they can. So I would go, yep, that's, that's cool. That's uh, sort of, uh, I've go, okay, so we'll just go to there because we don't, we don't want to post on this page as... The W is there. We just want to look at the page as their Parama, the social media, Facebook guru, or whatever. Okay, so now I would look at um, these. I would say, yep, yeah, these look fine. These are standard, and across the top, you can't change these, but you can change this one. So think very carefully about what it is that you do and how you how you can use that to best market yourself, uh, your product, your service. Okay. Um, do of course that all aligns with your um, um, your legendary alter ego or your avatar. So you you pitched it at the people that you know that you wanted to target. So. If you need some more help with that, I've got some really cool stuff coming out soon that's going to help you immensely with that. So watch this space. Um, okay, let's keep moving. Uh, now we're going down here now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's go as far as I can. These tabs here. Um, okay, these tabs here are uh, your... Uh, 
it just the tab buttons and from your end you can just manage them with a little thing down here that says manage tabs and I would be looking at these to make sure that there if there's a special offer or if there's something that you can um, offer people that's unique to you and your business I'd be looking and I'd be going well Adair it's okay let's just see she says I can book now can I and it's taking a long time oh I need to go back hang on that's okay well it's taking a bit too long to load but I would go all right, so let's go down. All right, so she's got some options here. Phone consultation, 20 minutes, follow-up session, one hour. Uh, hypnotherapy, session or timeline transformation therapy. See time she's available. Okay, so there you go. So that's... Um, and I, know I, I actually did set this up some time ago and just looking at it now, I'm thinking it's probably not a bad idea to go back and actually review that and get people used to because nobody's actually ever used it. So uh, it's a great time to review and see um, to see when, so let's just see times. I, I think that's amusing. That's really amusing. All right, so if anyone wants me, they've got to call me on a Sunday. Yeah, I think I'll have to have to review that seriously uh, from a business point of view. But it's there. The book now is there. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you before I come back here is I always look, if I'm looking at your page, let's just go here. If I'm looking at your business page, then I'm going to be looking at your message. And there's a reason for that. Um, okay, so I've done a test with this one and it says when I, um, when I first start the, um, like when I first send you the very first message, uh, it says, like, welcome to personal development, hypnotherapy with a day. I look forward to connecting with you very soon. Uh, I can probably personalise that a bit more. And I'm just going through. I've, I've done some uh, backward and forward testing. But if I if I haven't connected with your business page, I'll test. test. I, what I will do is go, I will do a test. I, I normally go is, hi, Adair. I'll be sending you the health checklist through this inbox. Or I'll say I've started it now and I'll be sending it through this inbox. And then I get this message, welcome to personal development hypnotherapy with a dare. This actually is something that I know I haven't done and what that is, I might just see if I, I'll see if I can do it on this move. Oh, I can't. Um, what, what I want you to do, and here's a little tip that you don't get in a normal health check, is go into your messenger. There's three options there. There's auto respond for when you're out of the office. There's an instant message, but there's also another one they've just added recently. This one's really exciting because this, I will, I'll, oh, I can't get to, hang on, let's just go here. Okay. But if that looks a bit funny, that's because I was, um, I was trying to get into my a tab and I've got some menu bar for the Zoom across the top and I couldn't find it. All right. So let's just go to social media. There I am. Um, getting a bit. Okay, social media for small biz owners. Social media, no, that's not the one. This is painfully slow. It's 
social media for small business owners. Now, I don't think I've sent myself a message from this particular page, but let's try it and see what happens because I want you to see what happens when I first open a message. Can you see that? This is really exciting. And I don't do this for health checks, so this is an extra tip. Hire there. Claim your value pack health checklist and see how well your biz page is doing and where you can improve. Download now. So it's a call to action. It's telling people that there's something there for them and I've got the download here. So that's just, if you want someone to, to do something, this wasn't available until just recently and it's not on the health checklist. So go into your settings, check your messages, turn this on and put your own unique special offer. So if you've hung with me this far through this uh, webinar, this video, whatever you call it, well done because I am... Um, this is something that's really going to help your business. I mean, it all is, but here's another hack that um, that you just people just won't get unless they unless they're there. Okay, so that was something really exciting because it's all happening now. Facebook is only. I'll just see if I can. I can't get rid of that. Okay, so Facebook is only one percent implemented its platform. And if that doesn't blow your mind, uh, that is, there's, there's several things to consider there. The first thing is that 99% of this stuff is yet to come. Um, and the other thing is, uh, is if this is powerful like it is, can you imagine what it's going to be like? But the biggest thing that I think is the way they're rolling this out, and we don't know, we know about the big ticket stuff, but these little tweaks that they do all the time, I don't find out about until I'm doing a session with someone or because I don't, I don't know where to look or if I'm tweaking my page. I was doing some stuff the other day and it came up in the settings. Did you know you can now cross post? Now what that means is if you've got a business page and say you're a, a beauty therapist or a hairdresser and you've got a beauty therapist that comes in and does nails in your salon and she's got her own page, what you can do is cross-post on each other's page. So you can actually cross-post only with videos at this point. So if you're taking a video of, um, of yourself or, or like if someone's doing a video of you doing hair or if you're doing a video of a client getting their nails done and you want to cross-post onto another page, then you can just cross post onto each other's pages. The list, the potential for this and for, for getting, you know, sort of maximum use out of uh, one piece of media is really, really huge. And I'd suggest that you explore that. But the whole point of this is I had no idea it was there until I was showing somebody, I was actually running a workshop and we're looking at the settings behind the business pages. And I went, Oh my God, what's this cross posting bizzo? It's just a new thing that's just popped up. So, just that, it's just so exciting. You will get overwhelmed with it. I make it my business to get excited by it. So, you don't have to get overwhelmed. I'll bring this stuff to you. I'll tell you when this stuff comes up because if you don't know, it can be really frustrating, it can be really confusing when they change things, when they tweak things, when they take things off that were there, when they change formats, as much as possible, I will let you know as soon as I find out or as soon as I see something, I'll be bringing it to you. So stick close and we'll just have fun on this journey together. Okay, back to the health check. Managing the tabs. Okay, so I've not even know that I've they contact me now, I can't even remember putting that one on there, but let's have a look. Contact me now. Okay, so there you go. There's an option to send an email. 
and I have a newsletter. I do remember setting that up, but that I need to actually take off because the email responder program that I used to set that up, I, um, I recently um, stopped my subscription to and I've started up with another you, uh, responder so that is really handy to know that I need to go back and tweak that so if I sent this it would go nowhere um, and in terms of customer service that's pretty crappy so I'm really glad that I've decided to look at my own business page this one so uh, yeah so that's uh, something that I need to need to do um, in terms of tabs that's that's okay uh, I'll come back and I'll have another look at these in a moment. I'm just going to, at the moment, share uh, with you the next section. So I'll stop the share and I will reshare on my other desktop because this one here. Now, what it does is it's saying, in the about section and we all know where that is in the about section is it fully optimized now this is interesting this bit here because they facebook um when people search on google if they searched um if if you've got a page called uh say you say this was like uh improve your mindset um, when somebody comes with a problem or a pain, they don't type into Google and they won't type into Facebook, improve your mindset. Or uh, they might type in, how do I lose weight? How do I stop smoking? I need hypnotherapy. Oh, maybe I want some personal development. So without trying to, um, without trying to sound to too tacky. I could have had a page for uh, stopping smoking or I could have had a page for losing weight or I could have had a page for gaining confidence. But what I did was I chose to do the broader topics, which is personal development, hypnotherapy with a dare. So if people are interested in personal development, interested in hypnotherapy, then that, that, would, uh, that would lead them, hopefully, uh, to... Uh, to be Googling or putting into whatever search bar they're using, hypnotherapy or personal development. And they're not going to know to ask about with a dare, but if it says hypnotherapy or it says personal development, it's got a bigger chance of coming up in their search than it would um, mindset. Because I don't know if you what you would do if you were Googling for if you were if your toilet was backed up and you were looking for a plumber, would you look for uh, well, I don't know? Would you go? I need someone to get all the crap off the floor in my toilet, or would you just go? I need a plumber uh, and put your address in. I'm just thinking you have to get into the heads of the way that people think when they look for you, not for what you can offer. That comes later. So immediately it's how do people, what pain is sending people to your, is going to send people to your service. Uh, I struggled with this for a long time because working through the pain myself and getting myself into a great headspace where I feel like I can do most anything. I still have time, so that's challenging too. But when I've gone and I've gone down this path, I don't put... Um, you know, I, I like Googling, I just, I wouldn't put, oh, I need to improve my mindset because that's the last thing I want. What I want now is I want to lose weight or I want to stop smoking or I want to stop drinking or I want to get more confidence or I want whatever. What are people, what are they hurting? How are they hurting? Think as they would. And again, if you've got your alter ego or your avatar nutted out, you should be able to use the words that they're using. And if you need help with that, stay close because that's coming. That's really exciting. I'll be announcing that on Sunday. Yeah. Anyway, um, go back to here. I've, you've had a look at the About section here on my health checklist. I'm going to stop the share and reshare on the other 
page now. Okay, so what I do when I look at your business page, I go into the About section. And let's see if it is taking her own advice. I look at, okay, about, oh, this has changed again. Wow. So um, until yesterday, this had about, and then it had page overview, and then under that it had page information, milestones and page owners. Now that's not there anymore. That's changed in 24 hours. So there you go. That's amazing. Okay, so let me have a look at the information here. All right, so find us. It's got, yep, um, that's my handle, at Hypnotherapy with a D. You can see that there. Um, you can... Actually, I wish I'd done now. I don't think you can change this, but if you are setting up a page, think carefully about your handle because you want people, if it's used as a search uh, term, you want people to be able to find you easily. So just keep that in mind. Uh, numbers there, good. Not that that's going to be much use later. Uh, open business info, street parking. Oh, I opened in July last year. Uh, story what I would suggest here is um, perhaps Adele looks at what her customers pain point is um, because it hasn't it hasn't addressed it there but this is a new well it just seems to be a bit different so I'm not quite sure I might have to go back and check that but because down here, um, it used to have short description, long description. Uh, so I'm, if I sound like I'm a bit confused, it's because I am. Um, let's see. All right. So, all right. So public transport, got all that fueled in, general information. So now there is no short description and no long description. Well, that's interesting. Uh, because I've got more, no, okay, well, let's just assume this is the short description and there's no long description, or maybe this is. I will have to go back and have a look at the back of the shop, but I would suggest that this is something that needs to be updated and fast it's an excellent way to overcome obstacles that are holding you back, includes self uh, confidence, addictions, relationship issues. Try and see for yourself. I actually need to take my own advice here and I need to go back and I need to talk from my customers or clients' point of view. So I'm not doing that very well and I'm going to go back and improve. So maybe I'll come back next week and find myself being totally accountable to you for this. But um, it's just changed, which has thrown me a bit because that's not the format that I'm used to looking at, um, which is exactly what I said before. All right. Uh, so there's some work to do there. The other thing it used to do was uh, list page owners. So I can see the milestones there. And I used to like having the list page owners because if they didn't have the people, if you didn't have your photo here or, um, or anything that indicated who you were, here, then it would um, it would actually give you a per, like it's it's also a way to link back to your personal profile because if you're looking for a service that's particularly um, when you're particularly feeling vulnerable, then this would actually be a really good place to get to know that person. And when you because people do business with people that they know, like and trust. And if you're just a lotus flower or you've got no indication of who you are as a person there, um, it's uh, people are most likely would leave your page because they need to get to know you. And with the uh, listing the page owners, they could go straight to your uh, personal profile and check you out, which I would encourage, absolutely highly encourage. All right. Let's just check out the milestone. 
2016. Ah, there we go. So, um, also, I would actually go, yes, for celebrating Fair Professional felt an opportunity with hypnotherapy, uh, festival student and crew member. Yep, I'd go, that's really cool. Some milestones, and I've forgotten that I'll put that there, and I need to go back and update that again because that's February. And we have had some more PD since then, and I, you know, that's something that you will learn, keeping it current, tweaking it, making sure that if someone comes here and they look at it, then then your page is is vibrant, it's active, it looks like it's been you know looked at in the last two years, twelve months, whatever. Okay, so some work for me there. Okay, stopping share now. And just pop back here. It's going a bit longer than what I thought, but there you go. I thought I would have the perfect page and I would just skip through it. But huh. yes, it's always fun. Always new, new things to learn. Posts and engagement. Well, what I look for is regular posts. I can't actually see if there's scheduled posts, but I assume that if your posts aren't regular, then there's not scheduled posts. And I put that in there. So you know that there's an option to schedule posts. Pins posts, if you have a pin, like if you haven't pinned your post, here's another little tip. If you do pin a post, don't leave it there for months. Usually three or four weeks. I try and change mine weekly because people, because if I change it weekly, then you come to the page and it's not dated from March last year or two years, and some of them are. Their pinned post might still be relevant, but as a minute, because social media moves so fast, if you look at the date and it's more than two, three or four weeks old, I personally would go, this is an old page, and not scroll down. Unless, like, you're really keen on checking the person out or the, the page or business out, because uh, even if the, the posts underneath are, you know, an hour old or 10 minutes old or whatever, it still gives the impression that it's an old page, so and it's not an active page. So when I pin the posts, I usually make them. Um, I usually, if I pin the same post, I will copy and paste it rather than repinning it from going down and finding it and repinning it because then it does say go back to the original date that it was posted. So it's um, so you actually create a fresh post and then pin it, if that makes sense. I'm sure it will. All right, so go back to this one. I'm sure there's an easier way of doing this, but I'm just grateful to be able to have this, to be able to share it with you. And, Okay, so now I'm looking for regular posts. Now, uh, talking of pinned posts, this was put up three hours ago. And I've got, okay, so, yep, 17 views, had some comments, got some likes. That's pretty cool. Appreciate that. I'll go back in and I'll make comment on my page after because it really is important to have that engagement on your page um but i'm looking at that from a social media for small biz owners hat on and i'm going that's cool you know three hours and i've got some comments and post likes and three it's a, a pin post but it's uh, only three hours old so yeah they regularly change their posts okay um let's see <laughs> oh damn you live leap i do need to go and take that off of there but uh, uh if we have a look all right there's another one um yeah that's another so bit of software that i use for my live streaming videos which actually posts to every single page and group that i'm admin on it goes to 11 places at the moment and i usually i have to go back in and take them off of the pages where it's not relevant. So that's one of my things to do. So there you go. That's showing you my undies. Um, um, here I also participate in a, um, uh, a, it's called Fun Friday, and it's like Super Saturday in our group. And uh, this is a, another group that I'm part of. 
and I do uh, I do share other people's work, uh, stuff posts onto my page and um, people are liking, commenting and sharing that. So giving other business pages a bit more exposure um, and a bit more, um, a, a bit more, you call it, um, organic reach because the more it's like comment, commented and shared, the more it gets opportunity in, to get eyeballs on it to be liked, commented and shared. So that's what we do. It's one of the programs that I run. Now this was uh, posted on the 21st of September. So let's see. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. Oh no, that was done 21 hours ago. 21st of September. And one of the things that the personal development in the therapy with a dare page is all about is lifestyle, you know, sort of being healthy um, in your mind, in your body. And I just thought, put a bit of fun on your page. Now, if you notice that um, I do have advertising and I've got, um, well, let's go, this person has advertising on their page. So they're advertising hypnotherapy certification training, got links to book now. That's, a, that's an out and out advertisement, okay? It's a testimony, it's a personal testimony from the person, me, uh, about what a wonderful family life, you know, uh, we've, we've got as a result of doing hypnotherapy and some other training. So if we go down, if we ignore these, um, interlopers here will go down and we'll say okay here's a bit of inspirational post here's something that's going to lift people up it's going to make them feel you know um, a, a bit better about themselves and, and frankly Facebook is wonderful for inspirational posts people love inspirational posts and and that, that's just something that they love so if you've got a page that is amenable to that Put those on. I would say they're a great filler, great stocking filler. These ones you can actually schedule in. So you can go, all right, you can do theme ones, you can do day theme ones. I look for those sort of things. Um, that's something that's there that's not salesy, that's not product, that is it's um, inspirational, it's quirky or interesting or funny. And this one here, this video is, I, I actually found it quite amusing because isn't this so true? But I, what I did was um, also, and I would look and say, is it related? So now um, if I'm looking at this from with the other hat on, I'm going now for a bit of lighthearted relief. Obviously these lovelies had to do some work before, oh God, that's a good shot, before taking the selfies. Um, then, then you go, well, the page is sort of related to lifestyle and improving your lifestyle. So it was a bit of fun. And that's, yeah, so and that's had some, um, had some comments on it as well. And other pages have come in and commented. So that's really, really good. And I would just suggest that if I, you know, as I would be putting in reviews now, I don't very, very rarely see this on pages that I review. Um, normally I see that there are comments, if there are comments there, they're from existing customers or clients, you know, like if you're, a, um, if you're a gym and you've got a page, it's nice to have a little community, but your page, I would have a group for that uh, and if, you have, if you've got a page, then I would be using the page to show potential customers it's great to have engagement with your existing clients because that's social proof that it's a good place to be. Also, in trying to engage people that aren't your existing clients. These, um, I, I don't know the people behind these pages. They've just decided that they like my page and they follow and whenever I put a post up, they get in and they tell me they're the biggest fans and they love what I do and there's, I just think uh, I go over and I comment on their pages as well, and you know, it's sort of all, um, it all, it just seems to, it just gives some, you know, a bit more exposure to all of us, and it, uh, and it helps with engagement as well. So, and they know that I put good stuff on here, so they keep coming back. Um, all right, so living better life. 
Oh, okay. So that is fan page, I think. I'm going to have to check that because I did a fan page app, uh, which is fan of the week. So let's just, this is new as well. This is new. You can put this on your page, uh, fan page app. And what it does is it introduces the person who most, yeah, there we go, living better life has been automatically the um, fan of the week. So that means that they're the ones that that page has interacted most on my page. So as a business owner, here's another tip that's not related to the health checklist. I would make it my goal to be fan of the week on as many pages as I could that have the fan page uh, tab on them because that's going to get you more exposure. So just, um, just that's another little tip. So, okay, let's go back to the home button. So I would say that there's not, I've got um, the pin post is good. There's a mix of content on the page. Uh, it's adding value. There's a call. Cool, it is, there are some sales when you're doing sales, when you are doing those types of sales product service posts. Uh, don't do them any more than one every five to seven posts. So what I see on pages is people just going, what a great product, what a great product, here's a testimonial, what a great product, what a great product, here's a testimonial. And you just go, no, it just gets boring because people come to social media to be entertained and, and informed, but if you can inform in an entertaining way, even better. Just, and those posts are perfectly legitimate because that's what you're here for, but it's not what you're, what these, the, the people, general population are here for. Okay. Um, and again, that's a bit of extra information for you. So if you sit through this whole thing, you're going to get just wonderful value and lots of great tips to help you with your page. The next one is, I'll just stop share, and, and I think I've covered it pretty well, but I'll just go over it again. If you see here, engagement on your best page of clients, potential uh, clients, customers, with other business pages and client customer review. So this is a section which is really, really important. And again, I don't think most many people do that as well as they could. So there's always room for improvement. And I will see, like, so I've got, let's just go back, because I know I've, I don't think I've done any, let's see. So I would be checking and saying, all right, so there's no comment there from personal development hypnotherapy with a dare. Let's just have a look at some other posts. Um, oh, the call to action. Make sure that where it's appropriate, put a call to action on your post so people can look at it. You can, well, if you're asking them to like, comment, share, just don't do it like that. Just go. Pass along if you think this is relevant, uh, you know, meaningful to you or whatever, because that sort of thing is really, um, uh, if you have share on there, ask people to share, then it actually is a, um, uh, it's scaled back in the algorithms and Facebook doesn't show it to as many people. So there's another tip. Uh, so let's see, have I been here or do I have to talk myself off? Beyond success, no, oh, God. keeping up with it is a bit interesting too. So, looks like I'm going to have to come back in here. And all right, so when was the last time I was back on my page? September 16, all right, so nearly a week ago. It was a week ago. All right, so go back now what I did, and I wouldn't look this far down. So if you have made comments to people that are um, coming to your page, um, I wouldn't actually go a week back and have a look. But I know that I had, and I didn't realise it was actually a week. So there's a bit more of my undies showing there that you can see here. 
um, uh, I actually I had this up. Um, I posted this last week, and it was last Friday, and I um, I've been back because that was the first time I actually advertised the hypnotherapy for Adelaide, and so people came in and they looked at it and they commented. And there's been people, um, so here we go, look, can't wait to go, I've got, responded to them, uh, I've suggested that they could, oh my God, sorry about that, let's just see, had conversations and it's really interesting because what I've done is I've tagged them. And I've tagged Adelaide South Australia. I've tagged myself, and hypnotherapy personal development is tagged there as well. And uh, but no, no one's come back. But it doesn't mean that they won't. Uh, I've always, when I, I can't say always because I've just shown I haven't been there for a week. But wherever I can, I will try and put as many tags in the posts as I can. And I also. When I respond, um, in some instances, I will say, do do this or uh, like a call to action in the post or try and ask a question that warrants an answer. So when people are looking for an answer in there, like if they, they make a comment and, it can, and I can try and ask a question that make, makes it like if I, ask, if I ask them a question and they have, have to answer it. If they do come back or if they see that they've been tagged, they might come back in and we'll get a conversation going. That brings exposure. That brings, it means that there's stuff happening on your page. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, that's another tip. Um, and that's a freebie from me. All right. So um, with other business pages, you can see that I have got other business pages there and I do interact with them regularly. Client customer reviews. Hypnotherapy is a bit of an interesting one. I always go to your review section if you have a review section and I'm looking at the reviews and I would suggest that um, it's hard to get reviews or it's, it's it's not the easiest thing to ask people to review your page if you're doing hypnotherapy because it's quite a personal service. If you are doing things like social media or you know even plumbing or hairdressing or whatever, it's a lot easier, I believe, to um, uh, and in restaurants to be able to ask for uh, ask for reviews. People have um, put reviews on my page, and then. Uh, and then I've answered and I've liked. So for other review people's reviews I go to, and I've got that one I haven't commented on that one, which is really interesting because normally I make an effort to go and um, go in and make a comment on the review. And that's another thing that I've noticed is some people don't do that. So they don't. Uh, they, some a customer or client will put a review on their page and they don't go in and respond to it. So as you can see here, uh, I, I thought I'd liked it, but I've, um, I've got a, um, an answer, a response here and I've liked that one and I've given a, a review here as well. So that's, um, I always look for that as well because that's a good customer service. Now let's do... The sun's sort of getting over that way and it's getting in my eyes. So I'll just go. I'm sure it's. We're nearly at the end. Okay, other stuff. Now, this stuff is really quite exciting. Use of events, use of notes, use of photos, use of videos, and page verified. So I'll pop on the other side, other screen. Now this is where I look for that on here um, using the events, uh, we'll go, you can say using the notes. Now the notes section is like a little bloggy type post that you can do. It doesn't slide down the timeline 
and there's my dad, g'day dad, he passed uh, nearly three years ago now, uh, November, three years ago, and he's done a guest post from the afterlife, he's, uh, he was a really good writer, so I thought I'd share that here. Um, and uh, so if you want to have a look, pop over to the page and have a read. Um, and and I've got, when I get these uh, nudges to write, I usually write something and then it will sit on my desktop so or in my uh, folder in my uh, my hard drive. So I've started writing them here and at least that way I can use the information to, you know, either it's out in the public arena, um, I can, <laughs> oh, that's why I don't need to get the folks to get I um, so using the notes. Um, so I don't I don't need drugs to get high. I, I have hypnotherapy or something like that. So so these uh, uh, notes section is really good. And in the, I believe for any industry you're in, you can pretty much write about general interest things that are of interest and even peripheral things. So say you're a yoga instructor, you might want to do a blog type post around the benefits of uh, eating well and drinking a lot of water and you can, you can cut that, nut that down into, you know, the, the nth degree. You can have one blog on, uh, blog on, say, why it's important to drink eight glasses of water a day if that's still the standard conventional uh, wisdom. And then you could go into other posts going, but if you can't, like you can have one going, well, um, here's how you make your water exciting. You can add lemon or you can add lemon and mint or you can blah, 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 blah. Anyway, whatever your imagination can dream up, you can put it here and it all stays in one spot and you don't lose it down the timeline. So you can refer back to it. Um, and I, I use that on both my pages and also use it in the groups for the, it's a, a document file in the group but here it's notes um, so I've been looking at the other use of photos when you use the photos most people are really really good at this they use their photos really well they put you know great photos up they have you can just look here at the photos and say yeah there's plenty of photos there it's colorful it's interesting it's engaging yep I tick that one off using videos Again, not many people do this, and you can actually have a featured video now, which is connected to here. Oh, <laughs> that's funny because it was the other one. I'm just going to have to figure that one out too. So I just did that this morning. But um, the videos, all videos, you can have a look. Testimonials, um, and you can have a look there. Um, and then videos are the thing, a way of the future. So make sure that you have videos on your page and especially if you've got a video, uh, I think that comes as standard. You come as uh, photos and videos and events, I think. Events, once you have events, you can set do an event in your, um, in your status update, events and milestones, and once you've set one, then it becomes part of, uh, of your settings or your tabs. So, um, and there's another little thing. Uh, where it says page verified, what I do is I look for, there's a little grey tick here. My page isn't verified because, and I do believe, I've tried several times and I do believe it is because it is a, um, oh, what is it? Um, I've got four business pages or four fan page business pages and they're all on different topics. I've got my phone number connected to three of them and I try and verify by phone and they say it can't verify. I've tried to verify by uh, my Australian business number, my ABN, and it won't verify by that because the name of my uh, business, like my portfolio for my different streams of what I do is different from any of the business pages. So I'm still trying to verify my page, but if you can, and you can do it easily, do it. Because what that means is, it's like the Heart Foundation tick of approval. It means that people come to your page, they look at the tick and they go, okay, so Facebook has made this person jump through a few hoops to get 
their um, get this and it means that they're a legit business. So they've got the tick, Facebook thinks they're legit, that's good enough for me. For most people, they'll think, okay, that's good enough for them too. Okay, on that note, I'm going to finish it up. Well, I will invite you to, uh, to check out the, again, check out the template free um, business page help checklist on my page, social media for small biz owners. You can have a look at this. You can go over it again. It's probably getting a bit um, long in the tooth in terms of time, but I just find when I start this stuff, I just love it so much I can't stop. But I have to because I've got a lot of work to do on my business page now after doing that health check. I invite you to come back tomorrow in it is. Let me just, I'll probably share again and show um, the events that are happening tomorrow. We'll play some thinking music. Uh, no, I don't want to save it. Okay. We'll go back here because tomorrow it's a very exciting week. We've got Super Saturday. I will, if you play Super Saturday with us, oh, come on. I can't wait to get my new internet provider. Oh, um, if you play Super Saturday with us, oh, just go to events. That would be the smart thing, wouldn't it? If you play Super Saturday with us, and please, please, please come over to the page and subscribe to my events and then you'll get to know what I'm doing and when I'm doing it because there's lots of exciting stuff coming up. Um, today is a health checklist and Saturdays, and I have no idea why it's not coming up. Let's just, it should be at the top of the page. September 23, oh, here we go. Sorry, I'm going, I'm trying to go too fast. I don't want to do any of that, so I go off. Okay, so Super Saturday is a program that we do in the group, social media for small business owners, and what I find is with a 1,000 members in the group, because that's what this is all about, a week-long celebration to celebrate 1,000 members, what this is... Um, is with more people participating, it's getting a bit more tricky to manage. And what this is, is talking about how you can get the most out of your page, your business page, when you participate in Super Saturday. So I think that's going to be a really, really useful one. And uh, because there are some people who are a bit like seagulls, just fly in, people over your page and then leave. They don't leave anything of real value. They don't do anything that's meaningful and they don't share. Or they might just pop in and leave, uh, pop in and like your page or like a post and leave. And then anyway, I could go on about this. I'm going to, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. That's at 9.30 tomorrow morning, Super Saturday. So come back and join me live, hopefully live. If not, it'll be recorded like this one. And Sunday is free foundation membership. Now, this is why, this is like the, the culmination of the whole celebration of the thousand member party that we're having. Sunday, I'll be telling you what exactly is in it for you when you have a look at the new member hub that I'm launching at the beginning of October. This is probably the most, well, definitely the most exciting thing that's happened all year to me um, and it's going to be the most exciting thing. So if you don't get here tomorrow, come back on Sunday and check out the foundation membership. There are limited spots available free. There is some stuff that you have to do to get your foundation membership, but it's not hard and it's not onerous, I promise. Uh, after I launch in October, 1st of October, those spots will be closed down and it will be fee paying only. So here is an opportunity. You will be getting thousands of dollars uh, in um, tools and trips and tips, resources and um, online courses that for free you will have lifetime membership access. So this is really, really exciting stuff. Come back Sunday to find out more about it 
And yeah, we'll just keep the party going until, you know, the next thousand. And I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go from there, but we'll figure it out when the time comes. Thank you so much for getting on. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm really glad that you've decided to stay through to the end because people who do generally get the best tips. So, <laughs> and you've got tips all the way through this that you can do on your business page right now to improve it. And you don't need to, it doesn't cost you anything except a bit of time. So if you just watch this and then follow the bouncy ball, download your own free help, uh, check, checklist and yeah, just, just watch your or, um, organic reach grow, in, your engagement grow and just follow the few simple tips and tricks that are there. All right, thank you. It's Adair Palmer signing out. Bye for now.